Uh, oh, I should probably have opened the game first. Discord or not? I'll also stream it through Discord. That way you have zero latency. Um, Thanks. Though I haven't actually opened the game yet still, so that's a bit of an issue. I'm going to have to actually press play on the game. Hold on. Yeah. Both for my streaming software and for you to see it. There you go. Thank you. Uh, hey, yeah. I need to add a new game capture. Okay. Window. Phoenix Race Journey. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're in. I'm gonna have to fix the resolution in a second because currently yep. it is small. That's a little loud. That's why we're going to the options. Yeah. Yep. Uh. Ah. Uh, what is all this? Ah uh, yes. Uh. Background music, sound effects. Where's my master volume? Uh, you're just gonna have to change your, your actual, uh, volume. You really aren't that great, uh, volume settings. It's literally just background music. Next. Oh. Yeah. Well, that'll do. Uh, text well, skip options are just <sighs> how many... Text boxes you skip when you're reading something. So what should I have it on? Uh, I recommend going with a single box. Okay. You don't want to hit escape. You don't want to hit backspace and actually skip an entire speech or something. Uh, text box low transparency. Oh, I see what it's doing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave it. At, we'll <laughs> leave that off for now. Language. Yeah. Credits. Yeah. That's all good. Okay. Um, resolution I just fixed. That all can stay on. Uh, yeah. Those are fine. I still you do need to memorize words because they'll show the just, they'll show them the even game. I need to turn down the volume a bit more. Hold on. All right. Uh, what's the other options? Oh. So backspace for back? Okay. Yep. All right, new game, let's get it. And we're gonna play uh, the first one, I'm guessing. Yep, uh, Phoenix Wright is attorney. First one. Do I need a mouse? Uh, you might. Yeah, yeah, I think you will. I think you can use either a mouse or a controller. Well, I was just wondering if I could use my keyboard. Uh, yeah, you can use your keyboard to scroll through text. I don't know if you can use it. There's some times you might need it. Not Wait, is this loading or do I have to press enter? No, you have to press enter. It's the first chapter. Gasp, gasp. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Da uh, damn it, why, why me? I can't Don't get caught. Reading it. Not like this.
Wait, I gotta make sure that this is doing the right thing when I press enter. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Yeah, we're both really retarded. Actually, it's because <laughs> I owe him a favor. A favor, you say? You mean the new defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out in any way you can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life by everything, and it's all over. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What, what? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm unfinished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took away from Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. Who's responsible for your girlfriend's debt? The newspaper say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. The first case is a fairly simple one. The young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky snap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school has a saying, when something when something smells, it's usually the butt. It's usually the butt. In 23 years I've known him. It's usually been true. Do not forget himself into trouble. One thing I say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. I know better than anyone, he's a good guy at heart. That and I own one, which is why I took the case. To clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. I probably should not hit my desk like that. Oh god. I have if my external it, hard drive. Have a yeah. First of all, if you have a hard drive next to it, don't do it. And second of all, if you do keep hitting your desk like that, every time something like that happens, you're going to be hitting your desk a lot. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> but my external hard drive is playing this game, and it's on my desk. So, all oh, around, geez. not <laughs> a good idea. Not a good idea. I mean, it was, if it was Nintendo 64, this game would be dead right now. August yeah. 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um defense is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, yes, Your Honor. I'm a, a little nervous. I'm not reading all this. Yeah, don't, don't bother reading all of it. Larry Butts. Correct. Oh, we. <laughs> On the wrong side. 
Okay. No, you, you're looking at it from his perspective. Cindy's autopsy report. <laughs> you like that description? No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death, 7.31, 4 p.m. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. So What's a R? They know that she died between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. We don't know an exact time. Wait, so why so, was our boy there if uh, she lives alone? And if he, like, it, in that photo, it looked like he was leaving, right? But but the bad guy was in there, or, I don't know. Okay. Our case is fucked. Yeah, you'll figure this out. He's guilty. Uh, by the way, there's going to be a lot of punny names coming up. So it was, uh... Cindy Stone. Cinder block. <laughs> so are you looking at him from uh, the judge's perspective then? Cause to me, this um, looks like he's on the left side of the room, and yeah, I no. And then, then it looked like the, uh, the other girl was on the right side of the room. You were lo you were looking at him from the witness stand. You were looking at her. Or you were looking at her from his perspective. I am so confused. I need I need a full full view of this courtroom. I could draw you a map of one at some point. See, it looks like he's on the right side of the room. But we're on the left side of the room, meaning that Mia should be next to us. And I'm, Mia is like, on your it, right. <laughs> Mia is on the left side of the room, but on, from Phoenix's perspective, to the she right is of us, on his right, to the directly to his right. So I was looking towards the witness stand, not towards the judge. Yes, you were looking towards the witness stand. Okay. The judge. Okay. From this perspective, from this perspective, you're looking uh, basically from the witness stand. Oh. 
Yeah. You're probably gonna want to stop them from answering, but you can also, to be fair, this is a this is basically a tutorial case, so you can do whatever you want and not fail, pretty much. Get it? He winced in pain. Answer honestly. See, that right there looked like we were on the right side of the room. Yeah. He's an idiot. So, this is where the real meat of the game is. Looking at witness testimonies. That explains why he was leaving. One PM. Very specific. Yes, they are. Yep. The real deal, I got this. We're gonna say that the blackout, this information right here, didn't happen at noon. Oh, oh yeah, well, uh, noon to 6 p.m. Right, you've got the right idea, but that's the wrong course of action. Uh, just, just close the, uh, close the evidence. We're, we're trying, I'm jumping the gun.
pull the key. It's an evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence in hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. So, you go back through his account and find something that contradicts a piece of evidence you have. I'm hitting tab. Ah, you're supposed to be hitting it. There we go. Hmm. Uh, make sure you're make sure you're looking at the actual thing that's contradictory, like the statement that's contradictory. When present it. Wait, what? Okay, so just back out and okay. look through the look through what he's saying. Okay, so I should continue? Yeah. Okay. So we're half one behind him. Okay, that's normal. Dead. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have this piece of evidence that says she's alive. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> no. How do I how do I how do I contradict that right there? Uh, you can't contradict that. That's true. But she wasn't dead yet. Oh uh, yes, she wasn't dead yet, but you can't prove that right now. Oh, so it's not that? Yeah, it's not that. I can tell you what it is, but I'd rather you figure it no, out. No, no, I'll figure it out. Okay. I will give you a piece of advice. The more specific a statement is, the more likely they're lying. So now when do I when do I interrupt him? Uh you can interrupt him close to the end. Okay. Well, no. Okay, so you can scroll back and forth through these statements as you please. It's just that when you point them out on something, you have to actually be looking at the uh, statement. We don't have and that yeah, much go to go off of. Uh, it's Hi! There. There's something. Oh god, I didn't mean to click that. That's okay, you'll learn about this. You're, you're still learning. And you're learning about the strike system now. Yeah, don't make false accusations. Uh, they will dot your points. You can lose your case if you make too many. Okay, so I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to switch between this and the different people in the case. Uh, or can I not do that yeah, anymore? Yeah, you can't, you can't do that anymore. At least not right now. Normally, I think you can. No, it's not until the second game where you can do that at any time. What's Q do? Q, uh, Q is pressed, but you haven't learned how to press yet. Press is pressing is for when you don't have any uh, any evidence that contradicts them yet, and you want them to keep talking to find a lie. Or if you think something is, you know, if you think they're lying in a statement but you can't prove it, you can ask them to expand upon it, and then you can come up with a contradiction for it. So think about the evidence that you have. Wait, if he didn't go you. inside, how did he know the phone didn't work? That's a good question. How do, how do I confront him about that? Oh, uh, I guess you could you could press. You could try it. Press Q. Anything happening? Yes, I got it. Oh, well, that's it. evidence about that, uh, you know, about that.
There is no evidence about him calling the, the, the police. No, but the, there was evidence about what time it was. Noon to 6 p.m., that makes sense if it was around 1 p.m. And uh, then the, the, look at the autopsy. But but that that's an autopsy after the fact. Like, we could say that she wasn't dead yet, but he might not know that. All right, we'll give it a try. Court, madam. Whatever the fuck she wants. Honestly, though, the costumes will get crazier. contradiction right there. <clears throat> You're picking this up. That that's a that's a total fucking bullshit statement. He, we already established that there was uh <laughs> the power was out, and well he hasn't he didn't say that it was battery operated clock. The table clock in the apartment wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. It, it, yeah, also, it, it, the problem is the murder weapon isn't a fucking clock. Yeah.
Yes. Yes, I do. How did he freaking hit the switch to hear it? Also that. <laughs> Went to the apartment, knew the victim. Ooh, that's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, uh... Fuck it! You could just argue- well, I was gonna say you could, you could argue either of those things as a stretch, but... Uh... The answer is just that he went in. The, the joke there is that his name is Frank Sawit. Are we going to try sounding the clock? How are we supposed to know the answer to this one? I might not have a case, but at least I can say that you're not telling the truth and that my friend's innocent. He doesn't have the evidence to accuse him. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple of logical leaps in this. Uh, but those are pretty much all for dramatic purposes. Also bad. Your boss is cool. Because she was in France? I'm going to say one thing about this game, or this series. Uh, uh. This guy just collapses. But, uh... These games are very obviously meant to be set in Japan. That'll become apparent in a bit. Um, I see. But, uh, they, they try really hard to make you think that it's set in Los Angeles. Well, that's just a localization thing. <laughs> yeah, so what you did was fairly impressive. <laughs> no? Yes. Okay. That this court is adjourned. Wait, so why was he in the apartment? Hold on, what? That's a good question. We'll find that out in a minute. <laughs> Bro, she was a thought, let her go. Gifting the murder weapon? 
Yeah, I know, right? It's fucking... It's so fucking stupid. He left in the fucking apartment, didn't he? Why was he in the apartment? Uh, he was just checking up on her and she wasn't there. And, then... and so he still had a key and let himself in? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. The real question is, if she had just come home... Oh, that's right, she had come home a, a day earlier. Yeah. I thought she didn't come home until she was murdered. <laughs> There's a running gag throughout the series that nobody can remember what Harry, what, what Larry's name is. But people either think is people people tend to confuse his first name with something else uh or they miss you know they'll, they'll misspell his last name <laughs> he's not gonna pay them oh no Why not? What is going on? You'll find out in the next case. Yeah, you know, things get convoluted. For surprisingly quickly. Sure, I'll yeah, save. Save, go ahead. We'll, we'll take save slot one. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is confusing. You have to go back. Escape? All right. Start. Yeah. Backspace? Uh, backspace, yeah. Bring! Bring! I'd also bring, like to point out one thing. Bring! An important I didn't game answer is, that! The hell is this? I wanted to let it ring! Uh, so this, this game came- this game originally came out in 2001. That's kind of important. I see. H Hello? This is- this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me- wait, what? It's Mia. Your Maya boss. Mia? No. Maya is Phoenix's boss. And who's Mia? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Mia is Phoenix's boss. Maya is a person you haven't met yet.
Burgers! Why'd we record it? She had her phone tapped. Yeah. Oh, no. Did 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 our boss just get murdered? Yeah. Yeah, she did. Already? Yeah. I would like to point out the other end of the statue was used as the murder weapon. So this is this is supposed to be uh the next I don't remember if I think this is like a month after your first trial, I don't remember. Examine or move? What's that mean? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, examine the room you're in or move to a different location. Like, to a different room. Or area or whatever you want to call it. That is not cash money. Yeah. Very, very not cash money. I can't believe we already lost our boss. Yeah. Yeah, it's- this is- and this is like really early in the, the series too. This is like the first major event. Uh, which kind of sucks. We sure she's dead? Nope, yeah, we can- uh, trust me, she's dead. Is her body still warm? Oh, okay, maybe that's, that's, she might be dead. I'm not gonna lie, it's a plot point later on, not in this case, but later on in the game, uh, that she's dead. It's, uh, things are gonna get weird in a bit. So by the way, you're at a you're at a crime scene that basically hasn't been discovered by the police yet. Yeah. <laughs> so uh taking objects would probably not be advisable. But uh this uh the series works under a kind of convoluted set of laws. So um take whatever the fuck you want and submit it to court later. <laughs> basically. Ah, uh, yes. You get to inspect scenes. Okay. 
I just want to check out everything. Yep. Yeah, it's important to check scenes for everything. Just sworn there was one other thing. Link, link, link. Uh, you can look out the window. Ooh. <clears throat> get, get it? Gate Water Hotel? No. Watergate? The, uh, the hotel where uh, President Nixon had that scandal? I do know Watergate, but I don't know. Okay, that's yes, it. that's why it's called the Watergate scandal, because of the hotel. So what's slide do? Uh, moves oh. across the room. Yep, does that. That's it, that's all it does. Phone. Aha! Maybe I should, like, actually call the police now. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the receiver is missing. Slide, slide, and Actually, slide. You slide. You can slide over the window with and check it again, I think. I don't remember. Nope. Already checked it. Damn. And uh, yeah, back. that's it. You just backspace. Oops. Move. Move. To the office. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Examine, move, talk, present. Let's start with talking. You could sh what happened? Okay, so let's go back, let's move, let's go to the office, let's examine, let's slide, and let's check the clock again. Okay, we're not. Yeah, if, it, if there's a check, it means you've gotten, you've gotten everything out of it. And, uh, so if there's something new, the check won't be there, that's about it. And there's nothing, I can tell you right now, there's nothing important in this room. You just have to talk to her and show her the receipt. I mean, there's there's flavor text in here. <laughs> I am the other coin <laughs> called a mistake. <laughs> All right, that's it for this room. Oops, wrong button. Present. Note. No, nah, no, nah, I am a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, you- oh. There's a- okay, so, I'm fucking begging you, please, whenever you get the chance, present your, your attorney's badge to someone, because the reaction is different pretty much every time, and it's really funny.
No, we're not gonna dip. We're gonna tell the police we work here. Oh, this guy. Detective Gum, oh, Detective Dick Gumshoe. See, Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way. See, that person saying she saw a murder. It must have been a woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. You to be seeing a lot of gumshoe. Yeah, wait, she wouldn't have not. Gumshoe, whoa, excuse me. Eek! This word me here mean anything to you? Um, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this in note her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Whoa, whoa, what? Is this actually going to be this next case? Uh, yes. This is oh my case. god, you're kidding me. That's uh, so yeah, circumstantial. Just... The meaning is could be. Oh my god, oh, this could be an yeah, easy case. Yeah, it's really fucking circumstantial. But I, I will tell you right now, uh, it gets a lot more convoluted. Uh, there are multiple days to this case. So you know that that previous case was over in like ten minutes. Yeah, this one's gonna take like three days. <laughs> Sorry, not a chance. What would happen? Would the game just end? What? If I said sorry, yeah, not a chance? Well, no, okay. You, you, either way, you're gonna be forced to, uh... You're gonna be forced to take her on. It's up to you. You could say, you know. Strikes fear into the hurting evil. Damn straight, that's me. Literally has to use this, like. You might want to wait, give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. No, no, it's okay, it's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to me... I know. No, she's just saying, like, you know, I know. I, I, can, say well, I can examine the guard. Yeah, you can examine the security guard, and he has jack shit to say about it. Also, the security camera. We can break her out. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can examine. Uh, I can move. Uh, goodbye! Just go back to the- <laughs> Just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> that buzz guy, he was a killer. If you know a killer, what do you mean? And you were Detective Gumshoe.
That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, he thinks I'm my lawyer. Damn straight. I'm guessing there's nothing in these rooms. Oh, so, okay, I'm not gonna lie. One of the things about this game is that you actually do get to investigate some crime scenes, uh, despite not being a member of the police, because in this series, it is up to you to provide evidence, uh, especially evidence the police missed. For some reason. Okay. We're gonna move. No, I don't want to go to the detention center. I want to go there's into the other room. I think there's... You can't go back to the other room. Not now, at least. You can talk to him. Aha! Wait, if this was into Tadius, who the hell wrote the note? Exactly, that's that's something you're gonna have to ask you're gonna have to ask in court later. Edward, I've heard about her. Of course not! Who the hell is Edward? Ah, yeah. Edward. Guess now I can go back. We're gonna present him with... The attorney badge, do it. We're going to first present him with the autopsy report. And then we're going to present him with this saying. Given the contradiction of Okay. Uh, so that that did nothing. Sure. Okay. Can somebody tell me where the evidence went in the clock? Are we not gonna worry about that? Yeah. Yeah, I think the assumption is that it was pulled out, like, to the bottom. Uh... That's what I always assumed, anyway. They never show, they never show you any other side to the clock. I would assume that uh, everything was housed and put in through the bottom and taken out through the bottom. Like, the inside was just hollow. Time to present her with the autopsy report. Yeah. <laughs> Here's her routine. Your sister death was the cops. Be a total bitch. Um. Okay, so that's going nowhere. So we'll just talk with her. Yeah, I'll talk. What the hell's a spirit? Yeah, she... Basically, uh, spirit mediums are people who can like channel codes. Okay. 
Yeah, I know that sounds really weird, but trust me, that's actually kind of important. So, Maya also made a recording of it. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, look, it'd be, it'd be kind of weird if she was sitting in a detention center and so on her cell phone, right? This is the address of a famous lawyer my sister gave me a long time ago. So if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go to ask him to represent me? <laughs> mm. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do. Oh shit, no, I wanted to say no, you're not allowed to, I'm gonna do it. No, she's saying I think this is the kind of I think you should call him yourself. She's just like, they're gone. <laughs> the day of the crime. Ah, I missed Super Dude. Okay, so we're done with that. We need to move. First, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna present that. Tell him straight. <laughs> I know nothing, pal. Here's your phone. <laughs> He's giving away all her information. <laughs> yeah, it's just a call record. You already read that. All right. Uh, but you can you can take it back to Maya, and she'll tell you what she was talking about. Okay, that's good enough for now. Is there anything we could talk about? Nope. 
Uh, so I guess we'll move to... You go to the law offices to talk to, uh, lawyer? <laughs> yeah, let's talk to the lawyer first. We can talk to the lady later. Look at that painting. Isn't that painting nice? It's worth looking around. <laughs> There's a couple of nice things in here. It's just flavor text, though. Oh. That's not a good sign. He works on his wits alone. It is a nice desk, and I'm sure that thing's probably really fucking expensive. And that's about it. That's everything in this room. You can look at the plan, I guess. Mm. It's fun to look at stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have to move then. And we could go back to the detention center, or we could go to the Gatewater Hotel person who's lawyering stuff and just tell her finally, I'm gonna be your freaking lawyer, you. <laughs> you fucking jackass. <laughs> you just insult her. Oh boy. What is the screwdriver? Isn't that, yeah, isn't that real suspicious looking? <laughs> yeah, she's real fucking scary, isn't she? Let's try again. <laughs> she's still standing. She's, she's, you have to imagine that she's just standing right there. Ah, a still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? What? A still life painting? It's a, a still life is a, basically just a, a painting of a, a scene, it's, you know, people, that's meant to be, well, a still scene. Notice the two Oh, glasses. I can't, I, I see the two, oh, there it is. The table. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, that's about it. You can't slide. You can look at the bed, I guess. Right? That's about it. You can talk to her. Did you show your badge again? <laughs> Here, have a cell phone. Oh, whoops, wrong button. You can keep this. <laughs> yeah, so that's just her way of saying she doesn't understand what the fuck you're talking about and why should she? Uh, just talk to her. All right, all right. You know, none of this is gonna mean anything to her. Oh, whoops, wrong button.
Okay. I think, the, I think to be fair, I think the Giga Chad move at that point would be to literally steal the garbage. <laughs> I, I'm gonna it's try. Just, you can't. Unfortunately, you First, can't. we're gonna It'd look at this really again. It'd be funny if you could. Aw. Yeah. I mean, uh, don't... To be, I'm gonna tell you right now, you will be able to look at that drawer later. So I will tell you, that case from 15 years ago, whatever, you get to solve it at some point. Just not now. Okay, so that's enough of you. You're clearly not being helpful. We'll go back to the law offices. Yep. Oh. There you go. Even grander than I imagined. I think... I'm not gonna lie, I, I really like reading this character's voice in like a stereotypical, uh, a Jewish accent. Like, Hit it. Knock yourself off. <laughs> go ahead. No, I, no, 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 you, you do it. You do it. I'll, I'll do, I'll do no, Phoenix. No, I'm saying, you gotta, I'll do you Phoenix, you do him. Yeah. Okay. Fine, yes. Yeah, yes. Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Oh, shit. Sorry, wrong person. Mm. I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy. Then how could how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Martin Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well here I am, boy. What do you want? I'll uh, out with it. Um, what well, well sir, actually it's about Maya, Maya Frey. Hmm? Uh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Why the strange reaction? I just, uh, really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How do you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, um, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going Sorry, on? Sorry, I can't do a good Jewish accent. You refused me even before I got a chance uh, to ask him. <laughs> what do I tell Maya? Hmm, we're gonna talk. Yeah, you're gonna Your refusal. I can just refuse like that. Please, tell me why you won't take the case. 
I'm not gonna do any more readings, but it just it's fun to think about. <laughs> That painting's important. Yeah. Uh, it's not important, but it is... It is fun to notice... It is fun to notice as a background detail because it, it comes up later. Also, no, take note of how much Grossberg loves that painting. She was going to deal with the person who backstabbed her mother. Basically, yeah. That was her life's mission. Yeah, uh... This, uh... <laughs> Alright, so he's not going to tell me anything. Yeah, don't bother presenting anything. There are definitely- there are some scenarios where you just kind of have to tell that people either are interested in that particular item or any- anything you have to say. Anything you, uh, want to show them. Uh, we said he was all skin and bones? That's quite yeah. the opposite. I feel like if I go home, I'm gonna be selected as the state lawyer. Well, she no, told you can just take on the key. She told me <laughs> that she didn't want me. Goodbye, sir. I've never actually picked that option. Oh. What? The game just fucking ends? <laughs> I've never fucking seen that, damn. Cursed timeline. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, the game straight up just fucking. Just that was good though. That, that 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 had to go that for a loop. I need to. Right? I I need a second. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm plugging my headphones so that you all can still hear me. And I'm uh, I'm getting a glass of water. We're getting some food, and we're sitting down yeah. for a long haul. This this is picking up. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a glass of water myself. I am very thirsty. I'll be right back. without Mikey for a second, boys. Oh. I can't abandon you.
นะครับDamn bastard I'm gonna pull of ice cream. I want ice cream. I don't have any ice cream though in my room. We all know what happened to the last bit of ice cream I had in my room. What a tragedy. You know, it's at the mall today. I should have bought Aha! Uh -huh, the plot thickens! There's no way it's coincidence. Fight me. What? 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 Why are we just adding stuff to- Okay. Like Mikey said, it's weird.
Holy crap, Mikey. I just ate an entire packet of Pop-Tarts. Like, I inhaled it. Like, it's gone. Like, never existed. Oh, my. Really? Wow. Well, just now? Yeah. Yeah. My I, God. I was like, let me have a Pop-Tart, you know? I, I haven't eaten much today, so that'll, that'll be good. And then I looked down to have another bite, and it's just gone. It was gone. Like two or, like, four? I ate both. Yep. Okay. I felt like Patrick when I... Hey, where'd my chocolate bar go? You stole oh my, my chocolate bar, SpongeBob. <laughs> if there was someone else in this room, I legitimately might have thought they took my chocolate bar. Like what, that was that was that was why. I'm oh, sorry. Shit. All right, getting back to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is he said that the girl died to uh, loss of blood. We're first gonna correct that with the autopsy saying died on impact. This isn't very hard of evidence. Can we can we please appreciate that? This is about as soft as evidence gets. Yeah. If it said Maya did it, then it'd be a little bit harder. See? There's plenty of contradictions. I'm gonna rip this piece of this guy apart. So basically, when you don't have a piece of evidence, you can just press. Okay. <clears throat> press on something that you think doesn't sound right. Just, you know, be careful about it. I don't even need to press. There's already holes. Yeah, I know. You get five strikes, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I can't use the evidence that she couldn't see her him clearly yet, because that's hearsay. Yep. Yeah. That I can use though. Wait, can I? Hold on. What? Well, I can't send my you own evidence. Um, uh, so, go back to the, uh, the point where they say... They don't they say something about her dying of blood loss in this statement? Not in this statement. Oh, you picked up, you picked up the wiretap from the uh, hotel room? Yeah. Cool. Hmm... What is suspicious about the state? Ooh, that isn't- hold on. Isn't it suspicious that, uh, they described her? We should press on that. What do you mean? Isn't it suspicious that, uh, they could describe her from that far away? Yes, that's true. I was going to go with uh, the very moment of murder. But I guess you're right. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. Okay, I have a lot of wrong agreements. Everybody agrees.
Right here, that's where I'm gonna hold the autopsy so that you die in unpack. <clears throat> Alright, guys, we're gonna pull them apart. I got this. What? Ah, oh, when did I get this? The day after. No, the day after. Oh no. Well, interesting. Oh, <sighs> uh, I have to pick one of these. <laughs> We're going straight for Edgeworth. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> You could just say, I think the, the, the one you was, I think the correct one was supposed to be uh, the detective of sham, but honestly, you don't have that one. <laughs> Yes, you can also just say, I'm a sham. People will be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was an option. I thought I said, it's a sham. No. Maybe? I don't remember. I'd have to look at it again. I think it is an option. Oh, we're going to pull her apart.
All right, let's take let's take her apart. Uh, I need to because that's where all my stuff is. Yep. What would happen if I said no? If you said no to what was it? The cross examination. I gotta test these things. I saw a woman with one. Oh, yeah, if you're gonna test out dialogue options, don't forget to uh, say it beforehand. Hmm. Let's see what my evidence is really quick. We got. Yeah, always. Yeah, it's a good idea to uh, present my attorney badge. No, that, that, don't bother. Ah, oh, shit. That was a bad idea. <laughs> don't do that in court because everybody knows you're an attorney and also. Uh, it's a false accusation. <laughs> uh, just straight up presenting the government's doxy points. Well. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that, sorry. Don't worry about it though. You get an uh, you get him back after each day. Uh let's trial. check this. What what time was it? Aha! The time! Uh, no, that was not the time of the murder. That was the time of the Yes, but she said 9 p.m. Ah, uh, but that says 9 a.m. Did it? call was way earlier in the day. I thought... Shit. 9 a.m. Well, that's a bust. Hmm. Think about what the defendant should know, or what the, uh, sorry, what that witness should know. Versus what he actually knows. Think about the room layout, too. Get docked for pressing, at least not now. He's right with that. Hmm. Let's just press that. Yep. Who could that be? Hello, Mark. How's it going in here? It's right, that's how it's going. You guys playing first one? Yep. Second case. Pretty good. Love yeah. this game. Mm, good. 
Uh, I've played, I've played the, the first three. Bernard's okay. just playing, Bernard's literally just playing them for the first time. Okay, cool. This is the map of Trailer Jack, by the art style. Yep. <clears throat> uh, have you played Apollo Justice before? Uh, I haven't, no. Uh, um, Apollo, okay. Apollo Justice was actually the first one I played. It's got some interesting cases in it. Mm. I should really at least play uh, the first Apollo Justice game. I forget precisely which one it was that I played, but... This one. Yeah. That's what got me into the series, so... I'm... I I kind of wish they would just rematch them, so I don't have to run and track them down. Yeah, uh, just aim on Steam. Bro, just aim this, this, this was really convenient. This is a convenient way to get in. Yeah. And I kind of want to continue it like this, just because it's easier. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to play it by daylight eventually. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Unfortunately, it probably won't be tomorrow night. So. That's fine. I don't think too many people are playing tomorrow night anyway. Ah! Oh, Alright, well, There's a pretty big update with a new character coming out, like, decently soon, too, so... Ooh! Ooh. Found something, Brennan? <clears throat> Go for it! Go for it! Oh yeah, that's the question I'm supposed to be asking is why is she looking out the window right now? Tom Jack, sure you're on. The judge is based. Yeah, the judge is based. <clears throat> Wait, it's all I just oh. Do you want me? Do you want any hints? Do you want me to back no. the game? You go. Yeah, I, I've been I've been helping him a little bit. Um, not too much though. Okay. Well, that's just even less. Okay, so I... uh, we're gonna have uh... to press on this. There's no other choice. I question your testimony. Got a minute. You saw nothing. Aha! Judge has no thoughts. <laughs> uh, 
Aha! It does startle me, the fact that you know it was a clock, considering no one else knows it's a clock. She is screwed now. I got her. Interdasting, isn't it? <laughs> Good lord. All right, the evidence. It. Perhaps. For, or should I press her first? Let me press her first. Let's press her on this, and then we can block and throw down the evidence. Every time Brennan asks us for, asks us for help, the answer should always be perhaps. <laughs> Aha, so I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the thing. Perhaps. Yeah, I, uh, I told Brennan about the attorney's badge thing. Aha! Like across, like a, didn't they, don't they say it's like across the street? No, I'm not satisfied because there's no fucking insides. Yeah, also, it's our clock. It couldn't have rung. It's empty. Aha! Get screwed! Cause I have it, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm literally holding on to it. I've been carrying this thing in my back pocket like all day. It's really fucking heavy. <laughs> Just like chucks it at the fucking judge. Sure. <laughs> I love that. I love that because she takes offense of being called fat. Bring it on, Edgeworth. What do you got? Now I can present the phone as evidence. Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> before you continue any further, uh, may, I, may I share my screen real quick for a funny meme? Sure. I am streaming, so just to let you know. For sure. Oh, oh I, I didn't realize. Never mind. I, I didn't realize we were live on stream. Oh, yeah, no, you're being broadcasted to the world. I will scream righteously. I'd rather you didn't. I will refrain. You may proceed. I'll send it to Mikey. Okay. Okay, I'll watch it.
<laughs> yes, yes, I can. Oh, it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, great. <laughs> it's not you again, right? No, no, no wait, wait, I got, I got it. it. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and this bloody candlestick, which now has my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> I'm thinking about, um... I'm trying to think about just how seriously you can describe this series overall. Not there. Yeah, because, like, on the one hand, they're all murders. On the other hand, stupid shit happens around them. I forgot. That would make sense besides the fact that it's a one of a kind! <laughs> yeah, but on the other hand, I forgot. Yes! <laughs> I'll, I'm just producing the clock now. Yep. Yeah, it's the clock itself. Yeah, so, uh, interesting that all that, side, all that side stuff that was mentioned at the end of the last case comes back in this case, right? Also, how shocked was he when, uh, Maya died? Mia. Mia? Mia, yeah. Yeah, pretty damn shocked. Right, Brendan? You fucking boss dies like 10 minutes into this game. What the hell's going on? She looks angry. She is yeah. angry. She is angry. You caught her right handed. That's why the cool music's playing. Yeah. Yeah, Brennan, what are your thoughts on music? I do think I need to turn it off. Chord's awesome. Mm. Oh, I should yeah. probably plug back in my headphones so that this, this, this stream is an absolute dog trash. So I'm like Discord, my stream will pick up all this audio right back up and chuck it right back into the stream. I, uh, I really I like, like Apollo's corner thing too, it's really good. Do they change it or do they just modify it? No, he, he's got his own. Oh, cool. Alright, <clears throat> uh, here you go, I'll send it to you. She doesn't look happy at that angle. Uh, Brendan, that's kind of the point. The whole point is that as you point them out, they kind of Lose change it. their opinion towards everyone else. <clears throat> because she, mm, mm, did she hold it or did she hear about it? Keep in mind. Uh, Phoenix is basically making a wild accusation. I know. You're supposed to know the answer. <laughs> so, if she had held it, that would suggest that she was in the actual place, which it wasn't her, because it was her boss, Mr. Blue Red White. And if I say she might have heard about it, although that is absolutely true, and is the safer option, they might Sometimes. just go and say she heard about it in the other court case. But this is the only Sometimes. choice I have.
your proof. I had the murder weapon with a clock. It is the wiretap. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, and now this entire court case can be thrown out because there's a wiretap involved. Congratulations, you just turned this into Watergate. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, is that what happened? I forget. Yeah, yeah. There was a there was a like a, a, a wiretap in the hotel. Is that was the entire case thrown out because of it? Kind of, yeah. I forget. I... Because it's well, the entire what thing. About was, that? The, the big, that? the big case was like a that there was a wiretap to begin with, but anything that was recorded on the wiretap was null and void in court. So the uh, people, yeah. who, the people who got prosecuted were the people who broke into the hotel to steal the wiretap. Oh. Weird. Yeah, it's like a it's Watergate's weird. Watergate, yeah, I, I always thought Watergate was fucking weird, but I never bothered looking into it to figure out why. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. Back then? I can't remember. What? Are the laws any different about on wiretapping back then? I can't remember. I mean, I, I know wiretapping isn't totally relevant right now because of the internet. Yeah, uh, I, I don't really know. I think so. I think it, I know the rise of the internet has made uh, laws about like recording private conversations a lot more convoluted because they're not a direct comparison uh, to wiretapping. Hey, Mikey. Yep. I'm gonna DM you about my favorite case from Apollo Justice. It's not gonna be like a main like story spoiler because it's like a side case that you unlock after you beat the game. Ooh, cool. So like. Oh yeah, Brennan's gonna have to go through fucking Rice in the Ashes. Yeah. Which is, uh, not bad, but I did this game, when I played this on PC, I did it with, uh, an Xbox 360 controller. So those, those aspects were a little weird. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah. Why the wiretap? I'm getting somewhere with this one, Mikey. Just, it's really cool. Okay. This is a weird case you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um... a witness. I'm doing it. Yeah, go ahead.
accept the condition. <laughs> just give up. Just go home. <laughs> I, I should have clicked that. I want to see what it does. You should save before you do those things. He's holding the what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the one hand, they do this. They do this in the original games. Uh, probably just to just they would have to make more character sprites, or you know, draw more art for the characters. But on the other hand, it's also really funny. Wait, so was the condition that I couldn't disprove the alibi? The condition was that you couldn't you couldn't say anything else about Miss May's testimony after this. After once, um, once the bellboy came in. There you go. That's like the full context. What am I supposed to do with this? He's not the head bellboy, clearly. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the story I'm reading? The one I sent you? Yeah. Huh. Went through a wall? No, like she was messing with it and it went off. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was in a different room that he walked into. Yeah. After. Okay. Nine on the dot, you say? So wow, I actually said it before game. Yeah, because he didn't realize he had, that had happened. He he just threw on his jacket and went to work. Where the and then just quote unquote just died. Scene. Yeah. Damn, that's, that's sad. I like the then who saw the murder? The what? I like the testimony music too. Yep, testimony music is good. A lot of it's good. It really is. Uh, I bought I bought the soundtrack on Steam actually. That good. <laughs> uh oh yeah so you agreed to that condition and then nothing happens What you got, Brandon? What you got? Nut up or shut up. <laughs> Good job, Brandon. He's done it. We're shutting up. It's over. Wait, so I protested anyway? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what that's what happens a lot of those dialogue choices. If you pick the wrong one, you end up picking the right one anyway. Objection. Now, now, don't be cringe. <laughs> 
based only in my court. The check-in, the room service, the bed making. I can tell you what the right answer is. But Don't I'm tell me. Yes. I'm not going to. So she was very particular about when she checked in. We said that the bed was made neatly. The room service. We're going with the check-in. No, the bed making. The bed making, yep. A new low! Oh, fucking Edgeworth. Back. Hello. Aha! Oh! Huh. Dun, 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 got it! Objection. Objection. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so yes, you were supposed to pick room service because that was the most noticeable thing. You could see for yourself that there were two people staying in that room. You can notice the character animations tend to be a little over exaggerated, but a lot. That's what's good about it. Just yeah, that's what's good about it. Honestly, it's very comedic. I can't wait until he sees uh, Godot. Oh, Godot! Oh, fucking, you're gonna love Godot, Brendan. Okay, you're probably gonna hate him for a bit, but then you'll like him. Wait, who? <laughs> he, he's one of the other prosecutors that you haven't gotten the chance to meet yet. Okay. You'll meet him in the third game. His gimmick is he likes coffee. Yes. And boy, does he ever. <laughs> His Wait, other gimmick what was is the question? Oh, shit. Court record. Oh. Uh, yeah. Who do you think it was? Yeah, th check the record. Where's the record? Profiles. Um. I think. Maybe? Oh. Is it something about Miss May? I don't remember. We're just gonna have to guess. Well, what think about who's, who's the central suspicious character here. <clears throat> Aha! The unknown variable, as it were. Actually, they're a little bit more like Ice-T than Ludacris. <laughs> That's good. It's so good. Wait, is the trial not over? Oh, there's going to be another day? Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yes, three days. I mean, this is, is this the this, second day or the third this is how, day? This is how real trials go, so... Yeah. Real trials are long... Real, real trials are longer than this. <laughs> Bitch got arrested.
Is that the end of the chapter? Uh, that is the end of the first day of this trial. Each trial is a different chapter. You could think of this. You could think of each day as like a sub chapter, basically. Okay. There are always, in the first game at least, there are always three days per trial. As you can see, she turns into a very nasty bitch when she's angry. You're scarring the security guards. <clears throat> How's the security guard doing, my boy? Okay, so nothing there. We'll talk. The man. Well, I think I just heard my door open. Which is weird, so I thought it was locked. We're right back. Just don't get murdered. Strangely enough, there was no one there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're not getting anything for useful from her. Unless we present her with the attorney's badge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight up says that, yeah. Um, Maybe she'll respond differently to a different piece of evidence. Yeah, like, she probably will. You could show her the, you could show her the wiretap and rub it in the face. Oh, that's right. She's going to react to that for some reason. Um... Is there anything here that you think she'll take? Maybe the the witness testimony? No. Uh, try talking to her again. There's anything left? Nope. Nah, okay, she's not so taking. Maybe it's Yeah, just keep just keep presenting stuff then. Nah, it's not doing anything. Nah, no, that's it. Maybe the, maybe the receipt? Alright, center that. Oh. That's it for okay. that. Yeah, just move somewhere Time else. to move. Just snoop around her hotel- Snoop around her hotel room.
<laughs> so yes, the uh, their new business plan is to uh, make it a kind of tourist oh. attraction. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'd like a nice coffee. Yeah, I'd like a nice coffee. He said if I if I want anything. to present him with the evidence of my attorney badge. <clears throat> okay, so that's gonna be the same for everything, then. Yeah. Um, mostly it's Gumshoe that reacts to your attorney badge. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to examine the room again. That's everything. We're gonna go back to the lawyer in question. Go ahead. I'll be right back. I need to go turn my fan on. It's really fucking hot in here. And, uh, actually. The painting's gone! My ice cream bowl. Mikey! The painting! See, he's the murderer, but that was a picture of May's mother. We gotta swap it. We'll come back for it if I can. And we move back to the hotel. We present him with the photo.
I'm back. Uh, so I took that photo and now I have an affidavit saying it's the, it's the guy. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh... Did you see the other photo that was there? Yeah, that was their mother. Yep. Uh, we're gonna try and go grab that now because we don't need this photo anymore. Damn! Well, it's a good thing we took the one photo. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have been real screwed, Mikey. Yes, you would have been real screwed. Um, by the way, so I believe the other. Uh, don't worry, the one you took is the important one. The other one is not that important. Well, it would have been important in future cases. Actually, I can tell you right now, uh, it's not. <laughs> no. Have you ever taken the other one and seen what happened? Mm, no, but I think I don't remember what happens if you take that one. Would we it lose? probably did. I, I don't think it soft locks you or anything. I don't actually know what happens, but I would assume that you get the other photo somehow. We shall present the evidence. Or you just reload the save. <laughs> Look at that face, it's really smug. Don't you want to punch it? Okay. So yes, you need... Here, how to proof. By the way, you remember the DL6 incident, right? Yeah, that's that's the mother being called a liar. Yeah, so obviously this guy was involved in it. Ease her fears or push her hard. We're gonna push her hard. Sound like her. Push her hard. Push her hard. She's a bitch. Yeah. You can see it in her face, right? Yep. She's a crazy ass. She's a fucking crazy ass. That's what she is. Good. Why are you pumping <laughs> your fists in there? <laughs> so yeah, the implication is that he's like doing that just for himself. Anyways, you can tell that, uh, she's intimidated by him. We discarded the bellboys after David. Yeah, you can just throw that shit out. Okay, so are we now going to... ...move to Blue Corp? So... Aha! Uh -huh, it's a painting! Yeah. Yeah, it's the painting. Look at that fucking statue. Isn't that gaudy as shit? Yeah, if you couldn't tell, this guy likes his long words. It's one the first. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my isn't a word. giantisco vocabulary? He also tends to what is this guy's problem? problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blood Corp, you know. Corporate expansion official. No. With the wordly challenged. Yeah, isn't this guy fucking smug as shit? What a fruitcake.
Do we... Do, let's talk to him first. Do you, let's talk about Blue Corp. Let's start off calm. this for now we're gonna examine the fact that the paintings there aha uh -huh. so now we talk to him about the painting no not yet again I guess just well, a background detail but I'm, why, aren't, why aren't you glad I pointed it out I probably would have noticed yeah Yes, you can. I forgot you can ask about it. I've seen it before. their ass kicked? Yo, you just got your ass kicked. This man straight up punched you. present him with the evidence. Oh, I didn't get any evidence from the phone that had the back ripped out? Man. Oh, yeah, unfortunately not. Well, well unfortunately take my pin. Okay, then that's it. We're, we're out. That's it, just leave. And it's missing, of course.
You're lovers? <laughs> He's blackmailing you. Yeah, the obvious implication is he, that he's being blackmailed somehow. Big twist here. So we just shoot him. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. See, my solution right here would always be just shoot the fucker. He's He's a fucking piece of trash. If he if he's um, really this much of a burden on society, and I really am so small, and I okay, so I see this one two ways. Well, you need a gun and a few bullets. That's it. I, I see this one two ways. Either I'm a lot bigger than I think I am, or he's a lot smaller than he thinks he is. And either way, I can bring him down. But if I really yes. can't bring him down, if he really is all that big and I'm all this small, then his death. His removal from the world from will be such an improvement on it compared to my incarceration for murdering him will be such a smaller effect and it'll be a net yeah. positive for the world. But obviously Plus. I don't think I'm that small and I think I could take him down. So I'm not going to just shoot him. But if it was in fact the case, I would just shoot him. I would also like to point out, uh... I'm sorry, what are you saying? Oh. Uh, that the hold he has on people is, is that not tied to him living to tell people? If you were to say shoot him, any, uh, any blackmail is technically then null and void, no? That's true. And they could charge him. Yes, as a could be charged for. And then he's already dead. But it's the only issue. Oh well, yeah, he's already dead. But you could dead, use yeah. it in your own but defense to say... Anything, anything his blackmail affected could be, uh... Would now I, be I think say, you'd have to or come to light. I think before he did that, you would have to figure out what his blackmail was first, because people yeah, aren't going to bring would be it up. Yeah, very on... difficult too. Yeah. Um, and ultimately probably worth not not worth the time. The so really, see... I think the implication is that he is so much blackmail on everyone that you could it would take you a lifetime just to find it all. That's a big twist. So we're gonna have to go back to Mia's office. So isn't this kind of cool though? You get to, your boss dies and you get to, you get to uh, at the very least try to put, put away the guy that uh, she spent her life tracking down. So we already had this answered. So this yep. is just the game being stupid. Yep, uh, today's trial. Was it your conscience? <laughs> okay, cool. Now time to present him with the evidence. So yeah, Grossberg's kind of a coward, but you can tell he's kind—he's of, a good dude, or at least tried to be, right? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. All you needed was the... You only needed those two photos for, um... Show to, uh... Um, to, to get him into court? Yeah. Yeah, to uh, get him into court. To get, uh, May to talk. Alright, back to the office. Uh, go check them off. Yeah, go check, go check the office. <clears throat> Wait, can I slide, please? Unfortunately, no, not at this time. The you hell? Like you're sliding, don't you? Don't worry, there are other times when you get to slide. It's not your. The J6 incident. <laughs> you can skim it. Interesting. Okay, that's good. Uh, you can look for those again if you want. I think. There's something in there in either A or Z. I'll be A, something about DL6. Oh yeah, there's one more home. So I'm guessing this is what the first game's all gonna be about, bringing down that big guy. Uh, actually no, this is just the, this is the second trial in five trials. Aha! Yes, the entire W section is missing. Yeah, I guess we'll have to water this thing now. So I really can't... Yeah, I know. I can't yeah, do the room. other room? No. Alright, the then I guess we're going back right to the now. detention center. Nothing here. No? Mm. Wait, what the heck is the guard doing in here then? Yeah, it's just a he's just a background character. They don't but you, you can tell they uh mm. they really like saving on um Alright, let's go back to Blue Corp and say see this guy in court. Course. Is he gonna hit me again? <laughs> yeah. Uh no. Well, I don't think so. Let's um, present him with the evidence. This might be a bad idea. This is probably, yeah. Okay, presenting this guy with evidence that he did something wrong is obviously a very bad idea, but I think that is, I believe that is the correct course of action here. We're, we're, we're just gonna save way. real quick. Yeah, you're gonna wanna save. What's, uh. You, what, you have any new talk options? Okay, so he just said, present the evidence. All right, I can do that. He's just like, yeah, lol.
God, I'm sorry. Just every time I look at this dude's face, I want to punch it. He's a very punchable face, don't you, don't you think? You're right. That's right. But you know who I'm going to get? I'm going to get the really good lawyer who had that painting because he let it off to me and I'm going to blackmail him with his own blackmail and say it's going to come out either way. He might as well <laughs> do the right his own thing. blackmail against him so he represents me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so stupid. I'm using the blackmail that you have on him so that I can blackmail him to, uh, to represent me against you. Dumbest shit. Is this actually gonna happen? Can I not say he's the murderer? No, unfortunately. So yes, you went from defending someone to being on trial. Oh, I can't even. Wait, she's out of attention. Why isn't she on the other side of the wall? Yeah, that, uh, so one of the things I forgot to tell you is these games originally came out for the Game Boy Advance. So they, they really liked saving on both character animations and backgrounds. Um, so it, technically she should be on the other side of the glass. Although if you want to frame it as being both sides of the detention center, I like that. Because you need to be guard, you need to be guarded. Defend me in court, cheer me on in court, help me break out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Defend me in court. <gasps> what? <laughs> Uh, no, you're gonna help me break out of here, clearly. Okay, we're gonna quick save real quick. Help me break out of here! What?! <laughs> Can you drive? <laughs> I'm kidding, it was a joke. <laughs> Come to the trial tomorrow and cheer me on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's what that's what we were going for anyway. We just got a good meme out of it. Yeah. I, I wanna, I, I'm, I'm loading that save. I'm sorry, I have to. We, 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 we have to load that save.
I want to see what would happen if I asked her to defend me in jealousy. court. Defend me in court! <laughs> Aw, boo! Same thing. Well, if that's the case, we're, we're gonna reload the other one, because I like that being in my true history, because it's what I chose first. Even if it makes literally zero thing, makes yeah, a zero difference. Yeah. So what are you thinking of this game so far? It, it, it has its ups and downs, but I think the next ones might be getting better after this. Like, as yeah, they get they more get updated. Cool. Cool. Yeah, they get better. Um, they get crazier as they go on, I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's what we want. Uh, like, not just through this game, but like, all through all three games. In the trilogy, they get- they get crazier and crazier. A limit of three days was not normal? Oh! Oh! So yeah, uh, one of the things about you gotta know about Japanese law in this game, well, this game is heavily based on the Japanese law system, or at least partly. You have three and, uh, days Virginia, of trial? Under the Japanese law, the burden of providing evidence usually falls to uh, the defendants, not or the defense, not the prosecution. Uh, I thought so that the Japanese it. law system was based on the American law system because we arrived with boats, with guns, gunboats. Uh, not, not, not entirely. Open I mean, the country. Yes, in a sense. Stop but, having it be closed. In general, yes, but in, speci in that specific instance, not really. Uh, and because of that, because of that particular quirk, uh, pretty much every case, like, a, an absolute an overwhelming majority of cases in Japan end up with a guilty verdict. So defense lawyers are not exactly well-respected people. What if they win? If they win? Yeah. They're, they're, then they win. That's it. Are they respected? The, the point is that not a lot... Okay, yeah, if they win and their their client is, you know, proven innocent, then yeah, sure. But, like, not a lot of them are. It, the chances of them winning are often very slim. Uh, but on the other hand, that in, the, that in and of itself is a crime deterrent. So yeah, there's Edward. Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lies. Avoid being found out. Is it going to ever depend on clear guilty? Oh, I wanted to blackmail the guy. Yeah, that would have been funny, but no, you can't. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Can you see my, my 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 train of thought if this ever happened in real life? Yeah. Man, yeah, I would have. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would definitely give me a gun to shoot the guy if I got declared guilty. Yeah, because that. Um, I know that that really pisses me off. And, like, I mean, obviously, you, this is not Phoenix Wright gun, you know, fucking mass murder or something. But uh, yeah. It's a really fucked scenario, and the odds of Phoenix winning are very slim. Also, something really weird is going to happen at the end of this case, and it carries to the rest of the series. Reason objection! Yes, feel free to go with your gut on these.
I'll raise an objection every chance I get. Basically, yeah. Because everything's fishy about this case. <clears throat> ah, so maybe we can turn Edgeworth against his own witness. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's totally possible, just not in this case. Damn. Uh, at some point in the series, you do get to do that, and it's really funny when it happens. I mean, actually, you do that most of the time. The whole point of this, these games is to turn the witnesses against the prosecution, essentially, to prove that they're in a, they're out of the murder or connected to the murder. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they're not the murderer. <laughs> oh, good, she's with me. Cool, she is my defense attorney, like I, like I didn't ask. Yeah. Is that it? Is that all I have? Yeah, but you've got you've got a little bit of room there. If you can find it. Alright, well yeah, I got this. We'll start with the fact that uh 9 p.m.'s good. Reading, yeah, that's fine. You heard something, that's fine. Uh that's fine. Okay. We shall pull up the evidence, and we shall grab the testimony. Uh, uh, it's gone. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about, um... I was gonna bring yeah. up the fact that Maya said that it was... Okay. Uh, what else is there? Okay, we'll press him here. I think there, I think there's something there. We're gonna start with this. Aha! Ran to the left. Got him. to bring up the evidence. Yep. Yes, let me bring up the evidence. I want to present the evidence. You have to wait until you're back in the... Can I not do it right yeah. now? Fuck. Yeah, because she's talking. Back Wait, no, 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 no. What? That's it. I thought I was gonna have to do it again. Yeah, you can you can scroll back. Yep, yep, we're good. I got it.
Aha, take that! Man's obviously caught on a line until it needs to do a fucking backtrack. Aha, uh -huh, so the witness did run to the left, but for him. <clears throat> Mr. White. Both are right, yup. I do like they don't they don't pick up that implication immediately, as if it as if, as if it isn't super fucking obvious. So yes, you you literally have to tell them. Yeah, I think he's the killer by doing this. Okay. Yeah, bro, I'm accusing him of murder. <laughs> get, the, get it through your stick, your thick skull already. Rapscallion? <laughs> Rapscallion's a word. Yep, and I'm gonna use the glass eventually because I have it still for some reason. Yes, you are going to use the glass eventually. Okay. Hit her twice. <laughs> you bet I will. Being overzealous. So, the first thing... Uh, there is one point of evidence. Yes, I say. know exactly what it is. It's the yep. autopsy. Or not. I'm a lawyer. Uh, no. We're gonna press him here. Objection. You hit her twice. Mm -hmm. Press him on that. That's what I thought I did press him on. Yep, didn't think so. We'll try this. Objection. 
So I'm guessing there has to be a piece of evidence like this. Alright, so there's not going to be anything it has to do. I have to make a guess. Uh, I'm going to guess with the autopsy. Just as important as picking the right piece of evidence is picking the right piece of testimony to use it on. I know. Uh, so just be careful. I don't know, Mikey. I don't know. We're making a guess. Yeah, go for it. Go for a guess. Objection! Yep, I was right. Okay. Yeah, you've definitely got him a little cornered. Oh, this is easy. So the, I'm going to hit the first piece of evidence. And I'm so, going to press him on it. I'm going to press him on the first piece of evidence, and I'm going to be like, so what did you hear falling? It's going to be like, the lamp. And then we're going to be like, how the fuck did you know it was a lamp? Yeah. I'd also like to point out, um... <laughs> Notice how he stops using big words when he's mm -hmm. being cornered like this? Yeah, very odd. There's no way you should have been able to see that. Yep. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. We're gonna press him again. How was he able to How the hell was he able to see the floor? You know, from the window. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna use that too. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to tab, and we're going to bring up the glass shards. And then I could use the room layout to say that he can't, kind of never seen it. Big problemo! <laughs> Don't you like they said that? Unimpeachable.
We're gonna use the room layout. This man went down very easy for being able to blackmail the entire country. Yeah. I expected him to just walk out of this courtroom even with this. Uh, well, the problem is that it's so undeniable at this point in time. Well, I figured he'd be able to blackmail like himself an army. Well, not quite that much. I mean, maybe, but he'd need more time for that. Remember that. Remember the. Remember the collecting blackmail evidence does in fact take time and preparation. Like he couldn't just blackmail everybody in the room and get away with it. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, Edgeworth's the good guy. Oh, that's right. I forgot he does this. So we, we did turn him. No, no, actually. Holy fuck! Oh my god. He's Edward's getting his, uh, getting the witness out of hot water. Was trying to get him off of wiretapping his murder. Yep. Yeah. I thought he always wanted to get a guilty because people always lie though, so shouldn't he try to get both of us in jail? He... Edward does care about justice. Uh you'll find that you'll find out why in a few cases. Um but uh he also Well he figures he figures if he can get the heat off the witness, it'll be it'll get redirected back onto you. Any any other any other crimes in progress will be dealt with separately, and then he can be you know, if he figures if uh if we, all of his all of his any attention or hatred he has is wants to be directed to you or to whoever the current defendant is. Oh my god, so another testimony? Yeah, another fucking testimony. By the way, there's a huge contradiction here in your evidence. Um... Cause she called this morning. With a functional phone? No. No, no, it's, it's something, it's like, it's like one of the first pieces of evidence you collected. But, you, uh... You won't find it out for, like, a few minutes. So yeah, basically he's claiming that he saw the light stand when he broke in, and then somehow knew it was a light stand that broke, 
a few days later when it fell by the sound. Mm. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to press him on some stuff to be a little bit more clear. Yeah, you're, you're, I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna have to press him on some stuff. We'll just start here, honestly. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes the only way you can figure out how to proceed is just by pressing everything. Uh, which does not net you any penalties here, but I think in the second game or the third game it does. So, uh, you are going to have to be more careful about it in the future. What is pressing here? Um That's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. You press him on that? Light stand? Oh, I did. Oh. Uh. So I press him on everything except for this one. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna... I don't think that yields much, but... It is worth worth asking. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you, that's because you pressed everything. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. For this one, you are supposed to press everything because there's you don't really have any options. You have to go on kind of a Hail Mary. Guess, Your Honor? Phoenix! Watch it be May alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... <laughs> We have an autopsy report! Hold on. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's her doing her ghost thing. Oh. Okay. He passed. He passes out again. He passes out in his hallucination. Oh god. No, he just passes out twice. That's it. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, Mikey, we're stupid! Yeah. Nobody ever bothered to look at the front of it. I remember this. Yo!
I wonder if this game's smart enough where if I remembered that all the way from way back when, if I could have thrown that in there. Well, no, I wouldn't have known enough though. Never mind. I would just know yeah. it was a receipt from a hardware store. Yeah, you wouldn't. You never would have thought to look. It, well, I it, it, you didn't have enough information to know that. Yeah. Once again. Wow, he helped us. He knows what's up. Yeah. So we're just gonna on the week before the murder, right there. Yep. Just tab and the receipt. Why the fuck are you directing their attention to the, the, the receipt? I mean, I mean, at the, 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 the writing as opposed to the other side of the receipt. What is he gonna do? <clears throat> yeah, what the fuck is he gonna like? What the fuck is he gonna do now? <clears throat> oh wait, I forgot it's Edward. And see what happens. Yeah, wait and see what happens. Wait, so I was supposed to do that? No, no, you, yeah. You're supposed to wait and see what happens. Uh, all of the cases, I believe, go. No, wait. Is this day two or not? I don't remember. So. He is not.
<laughs> uh, I think it's funny that nobody nobody questions nobody me where I got this list. <laughs> yeah, nobody questions where you got this list or the fact that there's technically a ghost standing in the room. Well, no, no, it, it's to all of them. It still looks like Maya. Just to me, it looks like Mia. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> I'm spirited, it was. I want to talk to Edgeworth after this. Take this, you slippery son of a motherfucker. Slap her across the face. I don't care about this. Yo, Nick, my ear, get down to business. So I just got promoted. Basically, yeah. Via my boss, death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can meet in Albany. Yeah, <laughs> driving fucking three hours for like a hour mediocre burger at like two a.m. Yeah, for a mediocre burger. Or, okay. I guess it would probably be like three a.m. at that point. Yeah, it'd be at three a.m. Okay, I've had enough of this for one night. It was fun, but yeah, my no, god. No. Yeah. Holy you're gonna shit. You're gonna wanna stop here. There are three more cases. Uh, and that's just the first game, by the way. The Do the other ones have more cases? Huh? Do other ones have more yeah. cases? Um... I don't remember how many are in the second game. Wait, I- I didn't want to continue, I just wanted to see- Yeah, sorry. We'll, we'll just... It's fine. Link. I just X'd out. Yeah. I already saved and everything, so... Yeah, that's fine. Um, Alright, that's it for the stream tonight, boys. Unless, Mike, you want to play something 
else, I guess. Oh, it's it's one a.m. I'm tired. It's one a.m. though. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. Uh, but next time you play this, let me know. I will. I will. That was that was a fun I, thing. We I, can I keep on streaming. Watching you. We can cut a couple more boys together, possibly. Yeah, I like. I really like watching you react to this because I know all the plot twists and they're really great. I wonder what would happen if I just guessed the receipt. You really can't guess the receipt. Uh, but, but what no would the pain. game have done? With Take a close look at this. Just the the blood written on it? Uh, uh, no, just the whole receipt. What, do you want me to look at the other side? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, it, the, the one thing that does suck is that uh, none of these games have a... Uh, uh, I guess you could call it an evidence examination ability, mm. except for oddly enough, last case in this game. Uh, so th here's here's a bit of backstory about these games. They came out for the Game Boy Advance in two thousand one. Then they got a re-release in two thousand five, after the third game had come out on the Nintendo DS, uh, with an extra fifth case added to the first game. Uh, so because of that, they decided, hey, we're going to use the DS's touchscreen and allow you to examine evidence. So, but only for that one case. So the fifth case does let you do shit like that, where you have to literally, like, look at evidence in 3D. It's cool, but it's not that functional on PC. Um, so whatever. You'll see that when you get to it. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, for this this trial, there was no way you'd be able to. The game just doesn't allow you to figure this out for yourself, uh, and obviously doesn't give you any information about it beforehand. So you're just supposed to the story. <laughs> all of this hinges on you looking at the back of the receipt, and it took someone coming back from the dead to tell you that. How do you spell oh, yeah. doofus? Doofus? D-O-O-F-U-S. 